GFR has an exclusive breaking story. We're not going to waste any of your time, so here it is. Warner Brothers is remaking the 1985 medieval fantasy movie Ladyhawk. They're taking a different approach with it though, by turning the movie into a television series for HBO. The 1980s weren't all neon and spandex. It was also a time when Hollywood became briefly obsessed with dark medieval fantasies like Highlander, Excalibur and Willow. One of the lesser known entries in that 80s genre was Ladyhawk. Nice bird. <laughs> Go on now. The 85 movie starred a not yet Ferris, Matthew Broderick, as a thief named Mouse. Couple, my friend. <laughs> Future Catwoman, Michelle Pfeiffer, as Isabella, a woman who becomes a hawk. and Blade Runner star Rutger Hauer as their warrior the protector. sword has been in my family for five generations. It has never known defeat. It was directed by Richard Donner. Yes, that Richard Donner. The movie's hook is that the story involves a woman who becomes a hawk by day and a warrior who becomes a wolf by night. The two are in love, but never able to be together. When he is a wolf, she is a woman. When he is a man, she is a hawk. The Wolf Knight and the Lady Hawk are paired with a thief known as the Mouse, played by Matthew Broderick. At first, Broderick's character doesn't know the secret of his travelling companions, at least not until he sees the Hawk transform into a beautiful woman. And since she was played by young Michelle Pfeiffer, she was indeed very beautiful. It's easy to imagine the story being turned into a television show in the style of shows like Xena Warrior Princess, Kung Fu, or the Old Hulk series. The premise is a natural fit for tales involving a reluctant thief who becomes a hero and travels from town to town, righting wrongs with his supernatural bird and his warrior friend turned wolf. I'll gather some wood for the fire. Lady Hawk was a flop when released in the summer of 1985. The movie never rose higher than number three at the box office and only earned a little over three million dollars. I thought you might have been dead, old man. If you saw it at all, it was probably as a rental off the discount shelf at your local VHS rental store. That doesn't mean the movie was bad, though. Critics generally liked Lady Hawk, and the movie was nominated for two Academy Awards in the categories of Best Sound and Best Sound Effects Editing. The premise is great, and it's easy to imagine a fresh take on Lady Hawk turning into a great television show for HBO. It's not unlike escaping mother's womb. God, what a memory. Get your Michelle Pfeiffer poster out of storage and watch the original Lady Hawk to be prepared. And remember, you heard it first from GFR. Subscribe for future exclusives. I love you. Get away.